Bigger than ever before in their eight years of success so far. The sort of whopping 35 million records globally and scored a record-breaking 13 number ones. They're the biggest selling arena act ever and they're a bunch of lovely cute Irish boys to boot. Please welcome Shane and Nikki from Westland. <laughs> We found these in the corridor, so <laughs> we didn't know. We thought actually, you might have dropped them. Actually, I'd prefer those back. There's one for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and one for you. Oh, oh, they smell nice, actually. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. You see, yeah. you could put it in there and keep yourselves happy all day, couldn't you? Just. Kind of... <laughs> Will they point through them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think we could have some custard with one of those. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Like a bad Is that been... what an implant's like? A real, you know. No, it's don't ask me. No. <laughs> don't know. Yeah. Mine are all real. Mine uh, We've been all. Um, Neither do we. Talking about lovey dovey. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. It's just going to annoy yourself. It's actually. Yeah. It's, quite a, <laughs> it's quite cool, though. It's quite a... no, 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 it's not a stress ball. Thank you. It's like, yeah, 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 it's a stress ball. <laughs> Some poor woman. Sam, um, feel up it there. Look at that next. That kind of points out. That's a bit wrecked. That. Oh, that's wrecked. That was a good idea, giving wrecked that to the boys. Yeah. 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 It's Big lost its shape. Tell us about this album of yours, because we've been talking about love, and this is the lovey doveyest album you've done, is it? Called The Love Album. Um, yeah, it was supposed yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's an album that we've, uh, a themed album that we've wanted to do for quite a while. Um, and this year, I think, um, every year when we set out, we always try and do, obviously, original songs. That's the main plan. But there's no band, I think, out there that, um, like to compare ourselves to, so it's hard. We've done eight albums in eight years, and it's mm. hard to keep coming up with loads of original songs yeah. that's on the same level of what mm. we do. So we decided we got in with Simon and Louis, and they said, Why not do a love songs album? So we went in and recorded what we think is the 11 best love songs around at the moment. And what are some of them? And we have nipples to show for us. Well, when you sing, we'll see if they go hard. You never know. Um, <laughs> what are some of the, the tracks on it then? Um, Obviously, oh, the we're rose. We're testing you now. It's terrible rose. when people actually. Yeah, I, I always actually forget them. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rose, Bet Midler, obviously, is uh, the first single. Yeah. Um, you Light Up My Life is another one, Debbie Boom. Um, you Are So Beautiful. I think that's my favourite Joe Cocker song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're um, doing a duet, well, it wouldn't be a duet, I suppose, but uh, collaboration with Delta Goodrum. Yeah, Delta Goodrum, yeah. That's uh, All Out of Love by Air Supply. So that's it's a good song, and she's good on the album as well. I mean, it's a great album to release for Christmas, isn't it? I mean, it comes. It's the perfect, it's the perfect yeah. stock and filler, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 What else would you want? Yeah. Everybody yeah. needs a bit of love, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you two are well loved up, aren't you? Both happily attached boys. We are, yeah. We baby. So three and yeah. Nearly three and a half years married for me. And nearly, nearly, nearly three. three years, yeah. yeah. But you've known your wife for how long? Many we centuries? met in school when well, we were in secondary school. So twelve years of age was when we actually met, but we didn't oh. get together till. Uh, we didn't oh, really? get together till we were about 15. Actually, the night of my 16th. So you were about 15. 16. <laughs> yeah, we, we left it for a while. Uh, 16th birthday was when it. It took him three years for her to get her to pay attention to him. Yeah. You didn't she know kept saying away, no. though, didn't you? Didn't you go home and tell your mum that you'd... you'd yeah. Met, yeah. I did. I went home and I said, there's this girl that I really like and um, I whenever I, you know, I, I kind of felt she was looking across the classroom at me and I was looking at her, but she still to this day says that she wasn't looking at me at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was looking at the fellow behind you know, you know, because obviously, you know, that you have loads of female fans and you travel all over the world, do you know if your wives ever sort of do a bit of snooping on you and check your mobiles and your emails and stuff? I don't know. I never caught her. I don't, I don't know. To be honest. I don't, I wouldn't mind if... Yeah, I know, wouldn't. I've not, wouldn't you know, bother me. Yeah. I mean, I, there's, I'm like, I don't know what you're like. I just like, got she, two mobiles. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not often, but when I do. Yeah. But it doesn't bother me if Georgina, like, the phone rang and she wanted to answer or text or yeah. read a text. That, not the highlight. Like, so. yeah. And would you ever snip on her? No. All the time. I know. <laughs> yeah. would you? Never, no, no, honestly, no. no. I'd snip on Gillian, but I wouldn't snip on Georgina. Yeah. <laughs> How would you two define love, do you think? How would you define love? Love. Yeah. Um, I think love is just being fully content. You know, fully content with mm. your with your partner and waking up every day and feeling I couldn't be in a better place, kind of thing. You know. Aww. Aww. And that you couldn't live without that person. No, but that's it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like I could not live a day without that person. If I didn't have her, I'd be like distraught. Mm. That's. I think once you feel like you've 
you could last your oh, whole life with her. Oh, it is, though. Like, you marry somebody to, to spend the rest of your life with them because you love them. Mm. You know, and you, you think this is the one person that I couldn't live without, so that's what. Come on, Nicky, can you beat yeah, that? Yeah, no, I was letting him. Die. Come on, man. <laughs> Go on, top it, boy, top uh, it. Uh, no, I think he's right in everything he says. I think it's, um, it's obviously somebody you feel completely content with, isn't it? And it's, um, it's someone, you know, beyond your wildest dreams. And every day, it's obviously, you know, a lot of trust. And it's, I mean, but relationships, as everybody knows, hard work too, you know. Mm. It's, uh, it's not easy, you know. No one said when you're at the top of the altar, you know, that. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. going to be easy, you know, that's only the start of it, really. Um, but, yeah, it's somebody that you want to share the good times, the bad times, everything else with, and hopefully kids and everything else that comes with it. Oh, well, mm -hmm. if anyone's having a rocky patch, you can stick your album on, can't you? Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> so that's what we're going to hear from you later. <laughs> <laughs> Always ever the business So you can be miserable one. for two weeks, and then you can buy the you album. You can be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the 20th is. <laughs> right, thanks, to and Nicky, but there's more to come from them later on as they'll be back with the rest of the boys to perform the new single, The Rose. So there you go. Time for a beat. But when we come back, we'll be asking whether you've ever considered giving it all up for an easier life with less stress. <laughs> <laughs> and later on, 80s soap superstar Emma Sands will be dropping by for a chat. There she is, back soon. Woo!